Hello, my name is Katherine Maltz, and the key concept I am presenting today is proximity searching, namely in relation to ProQuest dialog. Proximity searching is when a searcher uses proximity operators to increase the usefulness and relevance of the search results in long articles and books. Metadata can be insufficient for these longer items and may not include the subject terms that you are looking for in the material. Boolean operators may include the terms you are looking for and that the terms may be in the text, but without any degree of proximity, with the article being nothing about the actual topic that the searcher is looking for. The following proximity operators that are used in ProQuest dialog are options to consider to increase the relevance of the articles that are pulled in your results. Our first operator is near. This searches the item for two terms with only a certain number of words between them. Just typing in near defaults to only four terms between the two terms. It would, it would have the same effect as n slash four. For example, if we are looking for the topic of Chinese cinematography, putting near between the two words would ensure that the terms Chinese and cinematography will appear within four words of each other. It doesn't always have to be this default, uh, and slash whatever number you are looking for will specify within how many words the two terms will appear. For example, n slash eight would find your terms within eight words of each other. n slash zero retrieves terms as a phrase in any order and allows for term variation, but with no words in between those two words. Pre is very similar to near, uh, it, but it searches for the exact order of terms within the specified number of intervening words. Um, this one is, will ensure that the order of the words as you type it in would be maintained. So again, if you were using that example of Chinese cinematography, it would appear with Chinese always becoming before cinematography. Free by itself would also default it to only four terms between the two terms. Uh, P slash the number will have the specification of how many words, so P slash 505 words of each other, etc. And P slash zero retrieves pure adjacency and allows for word variations, which differentiates it from quotation marks. This can also be used for searching hyphenated words with P slash zero where the hyphen would be which is also an option for your searching as well. Finally, we have exact. This finds the exact search term as a complete phrase and not as part of a larger term and mainly used for the subject field. Uh, usually it is typed in with exact written in front of your term in parentheses and quotation marks. Um, this is for the exact term, such as keeping with our Chinese cinematography example, uh, would have Chinese cinematography as the exact term itself, would not have uh, such as like classic or modern in front of it. Some final thoughts to keep in mind as you are searching using proximity connectors is you can always experiment with the number of terms that you allow within your proximity searching in order to see what gets you the best results though you should keep in mind that the higher the number is the less relevant the results may be in addition it is important to check each system that you are using each database that you're using to make sure that you are using the correct proximity operators and thank you so much for listening